<laughs> flicked glass shards up into her face and slammed the brakes on so her head smashed into the dash. <laughs> <laughs> Smash dash is good. Tyler Cohen. Me flint Tyler. You're being Ron Tyler. Episode number 17. We're better. We're not sick anymore. We're healthy now. And George Floyd is dead. Yeah, shit. We've been we've been tossed up whether to talk about this personally. I don't really know like enough about it. It's but and but that fucking cop is so clearly a fucking piece of shit. Hands in his pockets, hands in his pockets while he's doing it. If what's he, it, what, what's he doing? He's kneeling on him, and he's he's not only is he kneeling on his neck, his oh, hands are in his pocket, like he's like casual, like, like he's so condescending. Yeah, what wow, that's fuck. I didn't know about the hands in the pocket. Scum pockets. cunt. That that's ruined it for me. So if uh, if he like we'll definitely say something if he doesn't get life in prison or at least killed then yeah justice has not been served. If this fucker gets fucked up then it'll deter other cops hopefully from doing shit like that in the future. And that's all we're going to say about it. Look. Look. There's lots of shit going on all over the world every day in all these different countries. You got to pick your battles. And we'll pick our battles. With science. Michael's really overdone his makeup today. No, I did it just before we got on because I wanted to overdo it so it stands out more. The foundation, you can see, it's in the hair. Foundation? <laughs> got you? No, you put foundation on your face. 10 days sober. Yeah, we've gone on a bit of a health kick. Um, I got really sick after a birthday party last week and I'm still recovering. Just f- like fucked. So sick and just nauseous and just, oh man, it's been hell. It's been fucking hell. So yeah, it's time. It's time to start getting healthier and just to cut back on the shit. And it's just coincided with all these restrictions lifting. So that's probably partly to do with it. We were just locked inside yeah, and fucking bored. So we just the gym fucking went. Yeah. Like health has just gone out the window and then mental health follows very quickly after. My God, it's time to fucking- I was hearing voices. Yeah. So it's just, it's time to just fucking cut back. It's time to yeah, get healthy and- And like make a real lifestyle change. Do you know what I mean? I'm getting into poetry. Michael started doing his slam poetry. It's very interesting. It's Give slam. him any topic and he'll start a poetry about it. Give me one. Four. Four, four, four. Think about that. Four. So F-O-R. Mm-hmm. I got it. F-O-U-R. And then the number four. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's fucking crazy. Matt, fucking clap, please. So, yeah, fucking the world's gone absolutely nutbag. But, um, hey, let's There's just still have, room for comedy. Let's just have a bit of a laugh and um, fucking forget about the troubles, all right? Troubles, troubles of your days. And um, which brings us to our fucking segment... And Matt has been very controversial this week. <laughs> you cheeky boy! Like, I was like, oh, Matt, dude, what? You uh, you want me to read these? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely read them. They're, they're 100% true. And I was like, Matt, I don't know. And he cut me off and said, Marty, just read them. And he had tears running down his face because he's been up for like 14 hours researching. Researching, Still researching. It's a busy day leading up to it, I reckon. You but don't have to fucking just cram it in the day before. It's not good time management. It's not good research, man. <laughs> On this day in 1954, Marilyn Monroe burnt her scalp when a ma- waiter dropped a hot pizza on her fucking head. She glued hay onto the burnt part of her head and that's why her hair looked like that. Fucking. Marilyn Monroe's hair wasn't even hair. It was Is hay. she dead? Yeah, she died. Uh, she was fucked to death by a basketball team. <laughs> oh, that would suck. That's a bad way to go. That's not a nice way to go. Uh, let's leave it at that. <laughs> look at Marty's new haircut. Yeah, the fucking barber made me look like I'm bloody in the army. <laughs> Corporal. It gave me a buzz cut. I was just too polite. He was talking heaps and cutting away. And I was like, in my head, I was like, fuck, stop, dude. Yeah. But he just kept cutting and cutting. And now I look That's like- That's the problem with hairdressers as well. You've got to be so nice. When they fuck it up, you can't be like, yeah, no, nah, it's not good enough. Yeah, because then you're insulting their work. Yeah. That's why I've had the same hairdresser. On this day in 2001, Keanu Reeves went to the doctor complaining of hard objects in his testicles. An x-ray revealed that he had squished coins into his testicles so hard that they bro- broke through the skin and are now in sit inside. When questioned about it, he got embarrassed and ran away. Fuck. 
On this day in 1991, Michael J. Fox accidentally tossed off an old man when he fell asleep with his hand resting on the old man's lap. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, he, oh, no! He didn't have that then. He didn't have that. Uh, well, that's not what Matt from Hall from Research says. Whoa! Statistician, statistician, statistician. <clears throat> On this day in 1987, Freddie Mercury saved a family from a burning car by using his large front teeth to dig into the vehicle. Once the hole was big enough, he fed his chest hair through for the family members to grab a hold of and he pulled them to safety. That's fucking well done. Oh. That's well fucking done. Freddie, God bless you, mate. You fucking good AIDS. person. All right, that is the end of... Uh, also... AIDS. Oh, fuck. He died from <laughs> AIDS. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next segment, which which has been named, which has been renamed. <laughs> and this, of course, is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram and send your DMs in to our main Marty and Michael account. We get lots of comments all the time. Oh, where do I send my questions? Where am I? Oh, where, who, where, where is it? Send them to Instagram at martyandmichael.com. We can't guarantee to get through all of them because we get a lot of them. But hey, you just keep bloody trying. You're like every Tuesday. You never know. You're lucky. You might be your lucky chance to be the winner one day. Oh, that was so cute. God. Look, we're running a competition for our mobile game app. All you got to do is to enter, there's like seven prizes that we're giving out and it's a month long competition. All you got to do to enter is download our game, Marty and Michael Catch Me on Android or iPhone and um, buy the new map where there's a new map. It's like two or three dollars. Buy the new map and then... Yeah, and then you're in the running to win all of these crazy, amazing prizes. It's unreal. Please what are some of the do. prizes again? You can get a shout out. You get a, a five hundred dollar vi- giveaway. Fi- is three, it three? Three people get a five hundred dollar giveaway. There's lifetime memberships to the website. There's a video message from us. There's bloody uh, f- accepting. We'll be your friend on Facebook for five people. We'll fucking all this random shit. Hey, eh? just go check your. Oh, I guess they can't really see it anywhere, right? Eh? Yeah. What do we? Where do they go? Just download the fucking game. Yeah, just download the game, all right? Download the game and start playing, all right? Just fucking play our game. <laughs> and also, this is a, a podcast also sponsored by the University of Markle, our website. Um, and if you want to support this podcast, go and become a member there um, and you can see all the content. You get 14 days for free. Did you know that? No, I don't think you did because we never talk about it that much. Only every fucking day. How many? It's like hours and hours of unseen footage. Yeah, there's footage. like 15, over like 15 hours of shit on there now. It's fucking nuts. Like you, you could spend nearly a whole day just from 12, from midnight to midnight watching our shit. That would be a good binge Matt's watch one, day. Ooh. Matt's here. Oh, show your face. It's because I'm embarrassed about my face. No, it's your hair and your crew cut. Now I'm embarrassed about my hair too. No, it looks cute. So go and sign up to the website. Uh, there's fucking some funny shit on there. There really is some. F- we love doing the website videos more than social media videos because there's no rules. Okay, there we said it. All right. We Fuck. filmed our funniest one the other day. Yeah. Do a, a child, a children's punishments really effective? Very good. Fuck. We bought some outfits. It got weird, dude. Mm, bit of a like a sexual undertone yeah, to it. It was sort of like an OnlyFans, but without penetration, without and any with, without sex at all, really, yeah, and no yeah. nudity. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now let's get into the fucking questions. This is from Jill Graham. Jill Graham. All right, would you fuck? This one's for me. Would you fuck a girl who is missing both legs and both arms? If she had a really sweet personality. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Fuck, you beat me to my line. If she, look, if she had a, you were not gonna say that. You would have said something like, "Oh yeah, fuck yeah, of course I'd fucking fuck her with no arms, no legs." Even if she didn't fucking want it, I would. That's what you were gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, if she was like really friendly and like we'd been getting along and dating for a yeah, while. Yeah, if if there was a fair few dates, like and dinner, <laughs> and maybe like, if she like yeah, and like if she had the same values as me, she's like a Christian, like she went to church on Sundays. Obviously, still a virgin. Um. Yeah, all of those she things. She had a good family. Like, she has to have a good upbringing. Yeah, and has to have minimum 20K in the bank. Yeah, I'll make sure she can, like, keep... Make sure yeah. she can fund your drug habit. Yeah. Because like you can't. there's not much to do. There's not much to do with a person like that. Yeah, she'd have to take care of you. It's not really... It's You're, you're, you're dating a torso. <laughs> Isn't... Yeah. 
<laughs> at what point does it stop being a human and start becoming a torso? <laughs> no, they're the same thing. Humans have torsos. You, you could practice CPR on them because you know how like, the CPR dolls don't have any legs or arms. <laughs> like you could really throw them around. Yeah. Wow. They'd be quite light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like compact too. You could like swing them around the room by the hair. In a, stand in a circle. <laughs> just, just fucking, what's it called? Hammer throwing? Yeah. <laughs> Into the ceiling fan. <laughs> Imagine the fucking domestics with her. <laughs> Question for Marty. How much would it take for you to flash your dick to a playground full of kids? <laughs> um. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's hard. it'd be hard now like the position where I'm in life now it, it'd take like it'd take at least 10 grand <laughs> oh, 10 <laughs> 10 nah, it'd be, it'd it. back in the day I was a bit more desperate look I probably would have done it for a fucking happy a, meal gum. a pineapple a cheeky pineapple but um, yeah it's probably not worth the risk now seven bars of gold I'll do it for seven bars of gold <laughs> send them in the PO box and I'll film <laughs> I'll do it to blind kids though that way, yeah that's not then that you're way not, everyone wins yeah I get the gold safe. the kids stay innocent everyone and, wins and my cock's out alright this one's from stay wild America <laughs> you're walking in the woods by yourself and stumble upon mm-hmm. your high school crush mm-hmm. laying freshly dead on the trail mm-hmm Zero percent percent chance you'll get caught. Would mm-hmm. you lift her shirt up to see what her tits look like? Oh, come on. Come on. Of course you would. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Of course you'd, you'd, you'd bloody have a bit of a play with it. Oh, giggly. Of course you'd have a bit of a hell. play with a bloody body. Of course you would. Anyone would. <laughs> play a bit of a puppet. Tie a couple of ropes to the hands and have a dance. Have a dance with her. And talk to her about how much better you're doing in life now and that she should have stayed with you. <laughs> yeah, imagine fucking just having conversations with her. No, you should have stayed with me. Now look at you. <laughs> you just let all you're that nothing now. anger out because she broke up with you when you were a kid and you're all hell bent on it. And then you can grab her by the hair and hammer throw her into the treetops. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be on your way. Austin Rose. Podcast question. After you take a shit, do you wipe between your legs or wrap around to wipe? My stepfather walked in on me while I was tossing one off. Did I stop? No, I looked him in the eyes and finished like a ringworm. Podcast question. Are you a fan of Metallica? All right, so we'll answer the first one. Uh, so I wipe from um, from uh, to the back. Is that how you say it? You go around. Yeah, and I fold. I go Michael. Through. Michael fucking goes in between his legs and, and um, just balls the toilet paper up and just shoves the ball of toilet paper up his ass. No, it just disintegrates in there. Matt goes like this, he said. <laughs> With sandpaper. And gets all the... It, like, yeah. I find if you go... If you wipe once, because if you wipe back, then you're putting more shit on your ass. That's why I'm wiping No, you've got to cut it off. If you ball a fucking bit of toilet paper but shove it up your ass just leave it up there till the next time you need to shit and the next time you need to shit you just shit the last toilet paper out and the fresh shit and then you just put a new plug up there works quite well uh are you a fan of metallica if so what's your favorite song yeah i like don't mind obviously the fucking sandman's all right I yeah don't really i, I, I don't really much. listen to metallica but i don't mind them all right next question is from bl Boudoir. would you rather never be able to come again or have the feeling you have to shit for the rest of your life P.S. I've got to go disco dancing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Probably never be able to come. Because I would hate to... You know, everyone, when you need a shit, you need a shit. And if you can't get that feeling oh, to go so away... I'd be so frustrated. You're never pinching a load off anymore. for life. But so like, so would you need, need, feel like you need to shit after you take a shit? And like, how bad is the urge to shit? Like, is it if it's really bad... You wouldn't be able to sleep, dude. Yeah, if it's really bad, I'd, I'd pick the coming. But if it's like, it's just like... A, Oh, I need to shit in maybe 20 minutes. Like, who's ever been there where you're driving and there's no toilet? I had these heaps because I was Uber driving. You have to get out. I've gotten out and I've had to shit, just shit on the ground. Sometimes, though, the, 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 <laughs> if you can just have that feeling, but because it sucks because you have to strain to keep the shit in. If there's no actual shit in there and you can just relax, it might not be that bad. Yeah, but... 
Like if you can just, I feel like shitting and then just relax your asshole. What about, it's always going to be that feeling. So then eventually shit will build up. So you'll just be relaxing be and, and you shit have will, to that you'll be shitting yourself heaps. It'd be impossible to fix. But anyway, yeah, I'd probably go, I can never come again. All right, next question from Benny Hodge underscore Benny and the Jets underscore. Would you rather performing the first 95% of a blowjob or the last 5%? Last five percent includes load. <laughs> it depends how long the blowjob is in. So far, <laughs> it depends how long the blowjob is in total. If it's ten minutes, I'd probably go the oh. eight minutes, dude. It'd be hard to take a fucking salty load onto the lips. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, hot, oh. hot, sticky chunk. Pop <laughs> <him> out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's all hard. Oh. It's just one big chunk. Ah, it burns. Ah, ah, it's hot. <laughs> oh. Feel the sperm wriggling. <laughs> Spicy cum. <laughs> Spicy cum. Yeah, look, I'd probably suck for the first ninety-five percent of it and really, <laughs> oh. and really give it a good go. <laughs> I reckon. Fuck, dude. If it's a. Oh. Probably the last 5%. Because you know, be if easier. it's the last 5%. Do you have to swallow? Yeah. Well, you just have to take the load in your mouth. I guess you can spit it out. I'd spit it out. It out on and their then face. I've eaten dog shit. I'd take cum easy. Yeah, but then you you have a chance of um getting uh, diseases if you take the load. Really? I think. Oh, you probably have a chance of getting that if, you, if you're sucking the cock clean off anyway. Yeah. It's mm. a big oh, juicy knob. It's a rough question. <laughs> it's a, a very rough. juicy knob. I'd probably go the last 5%. Mm. Falling around the mouth. <laughs> 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 big cock pressing against the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> the inner cheek. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Next question is from oh D God. underscore Namel. Dearest Marty and Michael, how often will Jackson and Gust Connor be streaming with you on Twitch? Well, when fucking- Have we spoken about Twitch yet? Oh yeah, we're, by the way, by the fucking Tonight. way, you guys are, so you guys listen to the podcast usually on Monday nights. So this is when this comes out on Tuesday nights from 6.30 to 8.30 PM, Brisbane, Australian Eastern Standard Time. We will be Twitch streaming for two hours every fucking Tuesday. All right. Every fucking Tuesday. And that just so happens to be, we film the podcast on a Tuesday. So it's right after this. We're going to fucking have some weed oil and go on game. More. Game. I'm just gonna fucking abuse everyone that we play. <laughs> I'm quite good at multiplayer Ma COD too. Yeah, so it's like it's good shit to watch. So fucking Marty Michael is our Twitch thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, we we gotta wait for Jackson to come back from America first if we can Twitch with him. But yeah, Tony Hawks when he comes back. Oh, the battles me and Jackson are gonna. Yeah, have. like it gets fucking crazy. He broke like twenty PlayStation controllers. Two controllers and when he three lived neighbors here. moved out when he was when they were playing He's each other. Oh, he was so loud. Yeah, we had, <laughs> and yeah, we broke some things. And yeah, Connor, of course, we'll be uh, we'll get him on our on our Twitch streams too. I, I do remember the control breaking, and you, you were calling cash converters to try and find we PS2 literally, controllers. Literally, there was there was sold out in Brisbane. Yeah. We couldn't get any more PlayStation Two controllers because Jackson had broken them all. Yeah, it was fucked up. We went through so many. We kept going back each every few days. One time we bought like four in reserve and he just started breaking them after every <laughs> loss. Sometimes he'd just be doing badly in one. He was still winning, but would make a mistake, a small mistake, but still be way ahead and twist the controller in and hear it start cracking a little he'd bit. Slap him like this. <laughs> he'd like Chinese burn them to death. Bang, gone. And then <laughs> <laughs> it's just a split moment where he's just in so much rage. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. We can't play anymore, Jackson, because you've fucking broken all the controls. <laughs> oh, good time. Ash Skvrkshavra has asked, has YouTube let you monetize any of your videos? Yeah, look, we've, we have changed our content a lot and, you know, we censor a lot. So, yeah, YouTube, most of our videos do get monetized now. Wasn't the same at the start. Everything would get fucking deleted, removed until we sort of learnt the rules of the platform. Mm. Pl but YouTube YouTube still hates us so much that we still didn't get our 100K subscriber plaque. Yeah. Hopefully, we get the million one because fucking hell. I can't believe that. We must be the only ones that's ever happened to. I don't get it. Anyway. But yeah, the website, we, nothing's un, nothing is censored. So, we can just do whatever the fuck we so want. So, join the University of Markle. Have a bloody look. I'll tell you that much for free. Look, Matt Brown. Next question is from Tobias.jp.com. 
JPG. JPG. Do you guys train your bodies to endure pain before making a video? Well, I guess every time we make a video, it is training for pain endurance, isn't it? Mm. So we've just, we do it every week, multiple times. So we just get used to being in pain. Life is pain. Life is misery. Yeah, you get used to the pain feeling. It sort of becomes a drug. Like a really shit drug that hurts a lot and that you don't want that much. Yeah, fuck. Speaking of stunt time, it's going to suck. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I feel like I can play with the controller. Look at this P.O. box. This P.O. box segment oh, is going to be so white hot. Thank you, Greg. White hot. All right, next question. Rihon Mares Jr. has said, besides tennis, what other sport would you both play professionally? Professionally? I loved the AFL was pretty fun growing up. I would love golf. I love golf. Yeah, fucking like lots of sports are so fun to play. And being a professional, obviously, would be so Table fun. tennis would be rad. Yeah, lawn bowls. Like, it'd be so cool to just be fucking awesome at lawn bowls. Oh, volleyball? Fucking uh, pole vaulting? Like, that would come in handy in so many situations. Oh, the We're going to do a vid on the, pole vaulting. The ball's too. stuck oh, in the tree. What about boxing, Marty? Would you ever be, if you I don't know obviously if I can, train young, would you be a professional? Yeah, boxer? I don't know if I can handle it. It's too oh. much nerves leading up to the fire, too much training. Rough, hey. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I, that's a life for me. Next question is from Ezra Valentine Rawlins and her Instagram handle is underscore young underscore mayo underscore. Question for the podcast. Have you ever fuck a bull? If so, have you ever had a threesome with a cow or a bull or just two cows? I've fucked two cows in one <laughs> night, but never at the same time. The cows, obviously, if I tackle one cow to the ground, the rest scatter and they're not going to hang around and get turned on. <laughs> have you so ever I had a threesome with two? Uh, not really, because you know it's, it's not consensual. Like one's dead, and then one. Yeah, so is that really a threesome? You drag like the living, like yeah, and force its head to kiss the dead one. Yeah, no, nah, that's so not is a that, threesome. Yeah, not really a threesome. Well, I've done that, and bulls. No, I've never fucked a bull. And again, bulls. Sometimes the bulls like have a look at me, and they're like, you know, fuck, should I attack this guy? But then they see what I'm doing to the cow, and <laughs> sort of shake their heads and just, just turn just, away in disgust. I've seen a bull throw up. I've him. seen a bull throw up watching me <laughs> dismantle a large heifer. <laughs> oh, God. Trolley Litton. What science grades did you guys get back in the early days? Well, a strong A plus from me. Strong. It was very strong marks. We were very up. We were up ahead a lot, always. And not even trying. Like It was just like, oh, a science test today? Okay, done. I didn't it. even study. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even know that there was they were teaching science at school. And I like I was like got my report card and I was like, what the fuck? A in science? It just I, happened. I, it was I used, automatic. I used to I used to think science was pronounced science. That's like how little I even tried to learn about it. Science, I used to say. Oh, it's science class today. Yeah, and then they taught it. Taught and then they said, hey, mate, no, science. English. Hey, you got an A plus. You can't even say the language. Say the word, mate. They said that to me four science. times. Four times the principal came to my house. The science. Came to my house with a fucking hammer. Well, yeah. Next question is from Matt Lacey 9. Does Michael smoke crack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he has. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> Lau was the only time mistakenly did that. Yeah, so we have accidentally, but we don't do it regularly and we don't, we would never, ever, 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 don't do it, okay? Try it once. <laughs> Can we, s no, only if you're in Lao and you don't Only know if you have a good excuse. It. Yeah, but yeah. No, I'd never do it again. Only if you're tired. But we were like, what, 22? Yeah, and like, yeah, it's not, it's not, it wasn't. It's, it's a shit special. drug anyway, yeah. yeah. Weed of life three. Which one of you has traveled to more countries around the world and each of you say your favorite five? Michael used to just fucking save all year and then fuck off for three months. Yeah, I think I've been to like 25, 30 countries. I don't even know how many I've been to. But my top, oh, I'll just go top two. I'd say Colombia, then Guatemala. Oh, you mean the cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite countries probably be uh, Sydney and um, Toowoomba as well was pretty good we went to Europe together yeah and went to a few countries and Prague was, uh, was Czech Republic's pretty fucking sick yeah cunt. god we had fuck a good time now fucking baby. you almost died France can get fucked and, and like LA was pretty cool when there's no like people fucking killing each other and riots and shit yeah well and we've been to Thailand together we saw someone get shot yeah that was a good time yeah next question is from Rachel Dunaway RA underscore Dunaway 
Hi, a boy's got a question for your fully actual. Do your girlfriend's family or friends watch the podcast? Uh, yeah, they do. They do watch it a little bit. And, um, you know, that's fucking, that's just, I don't think they really, they, a mum definitely doesn't. Yeah, I don't think they Girl, do. Girlfriend definitely does. Yeah, I think friends and girlfriend does. I think, oh, f- she might now and then. She's over it a bit. Yeah, like mum. like 50 m- minutes of watching this. Mum so said, fun. yeah, and like they know all this shit. Yeah. And but yeah, mum's like, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. And then I um pulled a breast out of my mouth, and I was like, what are you talking about, mum? It's fucking, it's my life. So how about you try and support me? Imagine trying to rip. I think have we spoken about this before on the podcast? Ripping a breast off and just biting into it. Do you reckon it'd be possible to rip a breast off? Like. If yeah, you if you get your fingers the perfect sized one to get the grip around, with and then your I reckon if fingers. you pulled up hard enough, you just need a scalpel, just a little, just one touch little a little bit, tear. one little tick, and the rest will just flip straight off. Can't yeah, wow. <laughs> the rest will just flip straight off. You have a hat, a tit hat. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of tits, this is a little trick for I guess fucking people that want to feel breasts without feeling breasts. When you're driving in a car. I'd say 100 k's an hour on the highway. Wind down your window, put your hand out, have shape your hand like this, sort of like you're cupping a breast shape if you're listening on Spotify. And then slightly caress the air and it's exactly like grabbing a breast. Michael's been fucking ghosts. <laughs> like, yeah, a friend taught me that when we were kids. I was like, holy shit, he's spot on. Sam? Well done. Or if you want to feel breasts as well, the other classic way is just walk up to your mum and just grab her tits. And however they feel, that's similar to what tits feel like. So if you got your mum around, <laughs> your just quickly get up. Just, really like you can do tits. that. You can do the little underneath them and just grab, <laughs> them, grab them a bit. Next question is from alemano.o. You guys are amazing. Supporting you since 2016. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Question for the podcast. Why is your IG account not verified yet? Yeah, fucking good question. We apply for it all the time. I'll tell you what, all right? It's the, it's the, what it comes down to is the mainstream media. So if you've been on the news heaps or like had articles written about you and like how long your account's been around for and how consistently you post and stuff. And because we're, we grew so fast because we're so fucking good. Like we've exploded onto the scene and now we're like fucking huge in such a short period of time. And when we apply for verification, they're like, oh, this account's only like uh, not like two years old. So it's harder to get verified. Plus we don't, we haven't even had many fucking much media attention yet. Mainstream media, you know, we've had been little bits Here on like, there. bits on ridiculousness and shit like that, but nothing, nothing proper. So, but hopefully soon, cause like fucking hell, you know what I mean? Bits and pieces. <laughs> But yeah, we just grew so quickly that it's like, it's shocking to see, oh, 1.1 mil on Instagram. What the fuck? Why aren't they verified? But it's just because we're just so fast at growing that number, faster than so than everyone else, faster than anyone else. It's fast as it's ever been done, I think, in history. I'm, I was there. So yeah, we're very good. We're the best content creators in the world. And that's why it's sort of just... Things just take takes a, a while. Longer. Just takes a while, guys. I think. I reckon it's going to come in a couple of weeks. I have a feeling. All right, let's, let's move straight along because it's stun time. It's stun time, everyone, and the segment name has been changed to... <clears throat> Let me see if I can get this right. <laughs> Bring the Tosh Steak. Whoa, I like the steak. That's a great ending. And this is a segment where we do a stunt. Both of us equally endure the same amount of pain. And for this week's stunt time, I'm going to shoot a marble into Michael's fucking hand from fucking close range cunt. And since it's stunt time mixed with science time, this is to test if it hurt Jesus when he got nailed to the cross. Yeah, because we're a bit skeptical. I'm pretty sure Jesus, come on. like He might have been putting that on, (laughs) that pain part. Because it doesn't look that painful. So, I'll be the judge. Maybe that could be a good experiment. Crucify, see if it actually hurts. No, we've spoken about this before. We can't do shit on religion or yeah. people get a bit upset. Sorry about that, guys. But this is for science, so this it's is fine. For science. And it's stunt time for you guys. It's behind the green screen. <laughs> fuck, I'm going to hate this. This is going to fuck up Call of Duty. All right, let's get this over with. Right. Do you reckon uh, this will, how much do you reckon will hurt out of 10? Oh, probably, probably a start with a six. 
All right, here we go. I've got the slingshot. I've got a marble in the slingshot. A little ball, a little glass ball. Hit the center of the hand. Ooh. No, I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 in the knuckles. No, nah, just pull back further. Attempt that number two. Good. Michael's complaining that the pain was not severe enough. Yeah, I'm seeing that Jesus was lying right now. I just got it. I got it. Damage, dude. Oh, you bit my whole hand oh, vibrated. Oh, oh I yuck. Think Call of Duty's ruined now. Oh well. Twitch is fucked. I guess oh, I'll. I knew that would happen. I guess I'll have to play. Oh, look. Oh, a little mark right in the middle. Oh, wow. It looks really cool. It's like <gasps> it's like a white ring with a red ring in it. Oh, dude, uh, it's the worst stunt time yet, I reckon. That'll, that'll really come up and be beautiful. Be a beautiful little schnickle. All right, moving right along to the next segment, which has been, of course, renamed to... <laughs> Push it out. You know who she is. I don't want to see anyone right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a segment where we just unbox whatever you guys have sent us in the P.O. box. And this week, we have quite a large little gift here, don't we? Isn't that a large gift? Who the fuck's a deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Greg Shelton, who is a member of our website. We fucking love you, Greggy, mate. Well, you're a bloody good bloke. And he's uh, he's gone through and sent us he's created this. created art for us. He's a real fucking fan. <laughs> Isn't he? He's oh, part that's... of the university. Oh yeah. I love a big package, don't we? As <laughs> your hand, mate. As <laughs> your bloody hand. Oh, oh, oh. keep the Oh wow. Oh, Let's see what it is. It could be a brick of, brick of cocaine. We don't know yet. My dear Michael, I hope you enjoy this painting or use it for darts. Be very careful opening it as it will rip at the folds. Don't open it up until you have a big space to lay it down. It's going to rip, but you can always tape it. Oh. Cheers, Greg. You're a fucking good bloke. And he sent, he's done this drawing. This is us uh, being rock stars because that's where we are. We're fucking rock stars, brother. Aren't we? And he said on the back, for Marty. Saw your Nirvana shirt in a skit. This was a sketch for a, or a concert with Whitney Houston singing lead for Nirvana. <laughs> I did last year. Sorry, us fans annoy you, mate. Don't you dare apologize. We Dude. used to fuck up people's houses with slingshots. First arrest, age 13 for vandalism. That's lovely. This is <laughs> lovely to hear. <laughs> Boy, that's fucking Whitney Houston singing for Nirvana. <laughs> All right, what's he sent oh you? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh fuck that is some fucking intense cock artwork so it's uh it's like bees with huge erections uh and and little wings so it's like and then That's there's good. a venus fly trap what is that is that a venus fly trap or something there and what appears to be a man's leg okay so and he's titled it attack of the boner bees here's said on the back of this one this is a sketch for an idea I had with bees squirting human cum into a hybrid female slash plant vagina. I hope you respect the experiment. Very creative, Greg. Yeah, wow, look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's the vagina there. All right, now he said to be really careful with opening this one, so I'm just going to rip it. Oh, yeah, Michael's getting fucking kicked out, everyone. The, the owner of the house is... Uh, moving back in so he has to leave oh there's more on the back there's a difference between hurt and injured don't worry about being pussies wear goggles when you use the slingshot you retards honestly you dudes are the best i spend i spent time in four detoxes re four rehabs three years in a sober house and a couple overnighters at a police station i'm better now don't let people judge you steven didn't and thanks again at fly paint 25 cheers greg you're a fucking legend wow man. what a decent guy uh, Greggy will fucking open this uh, after the podcast or it. But thank you very much for those. It's lovely. It's just lovely. And now we're going to do something incredibly controversial. My hand's fucked. Is it really? Look at it. Tuku tuku. <laughs> A little red ball, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's all numb now. There's no feeling there. It's probably what happened. Oh, shove yeah. it up your ass. I can have a bat now. You can shove it up your ass and feel like there's nothing there. All right, the next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> 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 
and this is a segment where we just do a prank call and uh you guys send in the pranks and we fucking call them now this week I don't know. I don't know about this. This is controversial. Yeah, right? is this, wait, Matt can be the judge. Yeah, you can let, tell let, I'll read this to you guys. Right. I'll read this to you guys. And obviously, we would bleep <clears throat> the names and stuff like that so no one's lives were ruined. But like, I'm sort of like, oh, maybe we should do this, bro, away. Eh? Because like, fuck it. <laughs> Where is it? All right, so this guy uh, messaged us and he said, <clears throat> please prank call my old boss. He's a cunt. He was... <clears throat> he was really, really nasty to me, and that's it. So it's a bit controversial. No, nah, I'm just kidding. He said this when I worked for him. His name is. Please don't mention my name though. He's having an affair on his very sick wife with some lady that he has saved in his phone as something else. So if you mention that he, when mention that he will shit himself. Fucking love you guys, by the way you guys really help me when i'm not in a good mind space oh thanks man you're a fucking legend thanks for sending that in um yeah what do you reckon matthew like i could just like it's, just call and probe around a little bit and be like oh hey mate it's, and like we would get connor to bleep the names obviously so that even one it once it's out i'm just thinking the impact on him oh yeah it'd fuck yeah. his psyche up like, yeah, but does he, in a way, deserve to have his psyche nah, fucked? Nah, we can't make that choice. Yeah, we don't have, we don't, it's not up well, to us to make that choice. Should we play the, God? I'm, I'm, maybe I'm we should. Think maybe we should play God. I'm starting to see where he's coming from there. What if he panics, call, like tells his sick wife? What if he kills him? No, we can't. Yeah, we, What if he yeah. kills him? Oh, yeah, we, does he, he mess- sort of should he maybe? <laughs> well, <laughs> it is yeah. fucking life straight through the gallop. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this much for free, all right? Kind of leave all of this in. In the comments, tell us. Oh, they're going to say, of course, yeah. to it. Yeah, they're- Well, no, they're but be be reasonable. It be reasonable, everybody. Yeah. Should we- it, I wouldn't be reasonable. I just want to see that shit. Yeah, uh, well, my we should do it then. <laughs> 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 but we'll leave it to you guys. But even if even if it's overwhelmingly, you'll do it. Obviously, um, we can, we will probably still say no. But look, just write in the comments what you think. But okay, we'll leave it for next week. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, we oh, won't ruin a life. Fuck. It would be amazing. It would be very it? entertaining. And like, I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything crazy. No, like, you imagine going really dark with it. Where you just but, like, but I who think the I fuck just, is Bill Smith? I think I just end the end the conversation with mate. Mate, come on. Fucking She's clean, sick, for clean, God's sake. Clean your act up, mate. Your wife is sick. Like, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. One of my mates likes drugs and has anger issues. He's 18. So, I could just, I'm just going to call Archer and see if I can rile him up. <laughs> Hello. Hello. G'day, am I speaking with Archer here? Who's this? Uh, this is Trevor Houston from the, uh, from the ca- council. Do you have uh, five minutes to talk? No. Mate, well, it's uh, regarding something that you're definitely going to want to talk about because um, it's a bit of a legal issue now. No. Well, I'm just letting you know. Oh, I hate him already just from his nah. Fuck! He is our arch enemy now, dude. Hey, I've got a good number to call. Story. Dylan something loves the NRL Roosters and his dream is to play for them. He's 17 years old and he plays for the Rooty Hill Dragons. I'm just going to say I'm from Penrith Panthers. Um, we've just, I'm, I'm a scout from the Penrith Panthers. Um, he's been scouted uh, during one of his games. We're wondering if you want to come in for a trial. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm going to destroy someone's dreams. Very lighthearted, this one. Very lighthearted indeed. Hello. G'day, am I speaking with uh, Dylan Thornton? Yes. No worries. I, I'm just uh, uh, Trevor Hall here, just from the Penrith Panthers, mate. I'm actually um, a scout, um, and I'm just calling you to let you know that um, one of our scouts actually came to uh, one of your um, Rooty Hill Dragons games at the end of last year's season, and um, we're actually looking at signing a few more halfbacks for the uh, 21 uh, season. And we're wondering if you had, first of all, time to chat on the phone right now and um, potentially come in and set up an interview. Wow. Yeah. So, um, do you have a second to, 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 to speak? Wait. Hold on a second. I feel like I know you. Um, not sure. Not, 
Marty and Michael. Fuck! Ah, fuck it! Oh. I knew it! I knew it! Ah, damn it! Oh, oh fuck! We, we need. Come on, Marty and Michael. You know better. We <laughs> 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 something. We know ya. Oh damn it! All right, well, fuck. That's fucked. We got to find another prank call now, Dylan. But cheers for being a legend, and cheers for watching our shit, and we love you, you cheeky dog. Nah, you're a mark. No worries, buddy. Keep Jeez, bloody playing dude. footy, mate. Good luck. Take care. Take care. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. My friend is a DJ and he's starting to get a bit of gigs in Melbourne. If you want to prank call him and pretend to be from Retro Nightclub on Sussex Street in Sydney, offer him to fly up and play for a two hour set. Say you discovered him on SoundCloud. So, again, destroying someone's dream. I'm fucking all up for that, brother. Hello. G'day, am I speaking with uh, Tenny Stag here? Yeah. Yeah, g'day, mate. I'm a uh, manager from the Open Wide Nightclub in Sydney. Um, and basically, I have uh, I am hired to scout um, DJs, uh, up, up and coming DJs from SoundCloud and invite them. I think them. I know who this yeah, is. Fuck! Oh, my God. Hey, Marty and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes! <coughs> Damn it. All right, you caught Hello. us, dude. I fucking love you guys. You guys are actually the best. Oh, thanks, dude. You're a fucking love legend. You too, dude. Cheers for listening to our sick shit. But, <laughs> you um, just got on the podcast? Yeah, yeah. We can't fucking... Everyone's recognizing the voice tonight. We can, No one's bloody... We can't get anyone. Yeah, damn it. I yeah, fucked it up. Guy, I, I, I stumbled my words too much. Well, anyway, we got to keep trucking on, find another prank call, but fucking All legend. Right. You bloody keep DJing, mate. Good on you. Uh, love you, boys. See you later. Love, love you. Too, Bye-bye. All right, I'm just going to call yeah, Greg yeah, and yeah. pretend that I am a... um. <laughs> He's gonna fucking know. I'm gonna be uh Julia <laughs> <laughs> The classic Hey Greg, is it Greg? Am I speaking with Greg? Go more try a man. Be a man. Am I speaking with Greg? Hello, this is Greg. Hello Greg, my name is uh, Walla. Uh me wondering when you start coaching. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Everyone, we can't I fucking... Thought gonna, I thought you were going to get me. <laughs> I was like, and then I just got you. you <laughs> My name is Walla. My name is Walla. <laughs> My name is Walla. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we everyone's we, all the prank Walla. calls have failed tonight, so we were like, fuck it, we'll call Greg. <laughs> My name is Walla. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. That's the fucking best part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Greg, we gotta keep we gotta, we, yeah. we gotta keep moving. I love you, buddy. Thanks oh chat later, I Love eh? you, dude. Yeah, look, that's that's the prank calls for this week. We're all out. <laughs> Guys, send us prank calls. Be as detailed as you can, but not too fucked up. We don't want to ruin lives. We just want to make people laugh, all right? And, and try and dob in people that don't listen to us because if they listen to us or like watch our shit, then they're going to recognize the voice. You know what I mean? <laughs> My name is Walla. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the failed prank call, we're still the fucking best. Don't you fucking forget it. Up to the fucking roosters. Up the fucking mighty dogs. And up the fucking panthers, cunt. We're the best, you shit bitch. (laughs) 